Welcome to Surviving Woke Land with Ethan Quinn, a channel dedicated to exposing and explaining the ideology driving wokeness. When you understand that the aim of wokeness is to destroy Western society, you shouldn't be surprised by the insanity taking place. Unfortunately, if you are capable of any degree of logical thought, it's impossible not to be surprised by what is happening. That said, let's jump right into the week of woke land. Just remember if you find any of this surprising, shocking, or morally repulsive, you're just a bigot. The woke now want to cancel Halloween in the name of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Apparently, kids dressing up like aliens and pirates one day of the year is extremely offensive. This is coming from the same people who want to dress boys like girls for the rest of their lives. Schools have gone completely mad. They are even using animals to indoctrinate little children into gender theory. And this is the kind of person who now passes as a teacher. Someone who loves talking to children about their sexuality. Or these two upstanding citizens who are shaping the lives of children. It's a good thing that you don't need to be able to read or write in Oregon to graduate. For the next five years, high school students in Oregon will not need to perform proficiency tests showing mastery of reading, writing, or math in order to graduate. And this comes as the Oregon Board of Education unanimously voted to extend a pause on the graduation requirement yesterday until 2028. They're citing inefficiency and inequity. Joelle Jones going beyond the headlines tonight to find out what this pause will mean for students. This is a controversial decision and one that's facing a lot of pushback. While some say the decision will lower state standards and cheapen an Oregon diploma, the Oregon Department of Education tells me this policy simply didn't work and disproportionately harms students of color. Just think about all the extra time that gives teachers to indoctrinate your children into gender theory and critical race theory. And if the school isn't doing enough to destroy the minds of your children, you can always take them to the public library where a grown man in drag will happily do so. And as a last resort, parents can destroy the lives of their children all by themselves. Like these two transgender parents, who just happen to have a transgender child. Of course, this is a coincidence, and they didn't brainwash this child into confusion. And then when she was four and a half, she went to the gender clinic at Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago. And, you know, the doctor sat down and said, are you a girl? And she said, yep. And he's like, okay, from now on, you're a girl. So they took a boy to a doctor whose only specialty is telling children they are in the wrong body. And this doctor told the boy he was a girl. What a coincidence. But only bigots like this think they can tell us what a woman is. What they call misgendering, we call accurately sexing. Yes, of course. Do you know what I mean? I would say it's misgendering if you say someone like Alex Drummond who has a full beard and calls himself lesbian. I think it's misgendering when you call him a woman. <clears throat> You know, but of course, it's it's this upside down world that they've created and, and within it, 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 you know, the, the logic of the world makes complete sense. But as soon as you get outside it and you deal with rape crisis centers or sports or anything like that, it falls apart. Leave a job to the women with beards and penises. How dare they use science to justify their sexism? And if you think being a drag queen gives you woke credit, think again. Yes, the woke are a cannibalistic tribe where the most woke eat the rest. Because even drag must be decolonized. Which is just the woke way of saying, get rid of white people. Which is too male, too pale, and too stale! Even the First Minister of Scotland thinks there are too many white people in charge in Scotland. Lord Advocate, white. The Solicitor General, white. The Chief Constable, white. Every deputy chief constable, white. Fancy that, Scottish people having jobs in Scotland. Of course, this only happens in white countries. You don't find Nigerians in charge in Nigeria, or Japanese people in charge in Japan. Oh wait, you do. I guess it's only a problem when it's white people. But if you have white skin, it's okay for people to hate you. You are, after all, just an oppressor. And if you intentionally hunt down and kill a white man while streaming it, the mainstream media will just ignore it. Jesus Ayala and Jameer Keyes smiling at the widow and daughter of Andy Probst as they leave the courtroom Tuesday. The teens are accused of intentionally hitting the 64-year-old retired California police chief. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. They're charged with murder and additional felonies in connection with an August 14th crime spree. Police say they also hit this 72-year-old cyclist that morning. <laughs> he survived. A trial now scheduled for September of next year. But if you are black, be sure to collect your reparations at the nearest store. 
Oh my God, this is crazy. Now nah, people come to feel everything. And calling for the genocide of Jewish people is now how you show that you are a kind and compassionate person who believes in inclusion. So even though you can't point Israel out on a map, if your life depended on it, you can chant slogans without even understanding what you are saying. Do you know who you're chanting for and what you're chanting? When you say free Palestine, you are not talking about Gaza. Do you know that? Gaza is not Palestine. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. It is calling to end the existence of Israel from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea, which includes the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, and the entire state of Israel, the only Jewish state in the entire world. Seven million Jews and two million Arabs live here in peace. With your free Palestine idea, where do you want us to go? Where do you want us all to go? But there is hope for you if you are a white male. You can just identify as something else. Like this person who calls himself Melody Wiseheart. He is a 50-year-old man who identifies as a girl. That allowed him to compete in a swimming competition with 12-year-old girls, but only a bigot would have a problem with a 50-year-old man being in the changing room with underage girls. And then there is this person, another middle-aged man who identifies as a baby girl and goes to the mall in a diaper. But this is a valid identity, not a mental disorder. And if you don't agree, you are a bad person are also a bad person if you do not find Dove's new representative stunning and brave. Forget that no man in history has ever been sexually attracted to someone that looks like that. This is the new beauty standard. And you're a terrible person if you own a restaurant and don't change your entire business to suit people with an eating disorder. Today's video is all about how restaurants can be more size inclusive and accessible for people of all sizes and abilities. With this video, I hope to educate some restaurant owners so that they can make their restaurants more size inclusive and accessible. But don't worry about the world going mad because the US military will protect us. With soldiers like this, what could possibly go wrong? That's a wrap for today's video. If you found this exploration of wokeness enlightening, please share this video. If you have thoughts or experiences to share, kindly leave a comment below. You can also support this channel by downloading my book, Ministry of Truth, How Propaganda Fuels the Culture War. And please join me every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, as we learn how to survive Wokeland, together. Until then, this is Ethan Quinn saying, stay free.